So this potentially mediocre release day actually is looking like it's going to be pretty spectacular actually. And I don't think there's a lot of packs in each of these, but you know, there's still four boxes and this these aren't everything that I bought. Unfortunately, I won't have to spend too much time on the East Front because I didn't watch a whole lot once again, although I guess I still do have a good amount of stuff to talk about. Crap, I hate trying to figure out how to open these. There's a red strip there. Will this do it? Special edition, they really mean it. Well, look how big these are compared to the regular. They're twice the size. Interesting. We're gonna have to take a closer look at them. So, one of these new releases is Toradora, and I think uh, people have been kind of aware that this has been going to be coming out. It's basically the first DVD release this company has done, and it's rather quite weird. I had to go and spend the last five minutes just to thumb through it to know what to say. But as you can see, the reason it's so big is because it's, this. first of all, this really thick, high-quality um, cover, which contains a book in it, which is an episode guide, and thumbing through it, it's difficult to tell what information I would see from it, but there's a lot of good artwork in here for people who are fans of collecting things that just have a lot of artwork to anime you like. And then of course it has the two discs. Now the thing that I don't know what to think about, um, a lot of people have been, I've, I've, I've seen people express worry that it costs like the same amount as um, Yes, yeah, so that's Toradora. This is Persona. People have been worried about the fact that um, these cost so much, even though there's like only 13 episodes per, and they're subtitle only. You know, they would usually expect a $45 purchase to contain dub of some sort, usually. A little more work than just subtitling, but clearly, they're including art books, really fancy um, cases that will stand out. I noticed this while thumbing through this four panel comics. And until I actually watch Persona, I'm not going to know what they are. Looks like this book is actually a flip book. As in, like, flip it and this side is uh, 
Maybe something related to the anime, but I won't know until I watch it. Oh, and of course. We've got our discs. Very, very interesting release. I mean, I did not expect it. These things are heavy, even for DVDs. They're pretty cool just because of that. Uh, I guess, uh, um, now, I think these are officially supposed to be released next week. So, they're probably making sure the company gets the money now, get the word out. And uh, I'll watch these anime, and if they're really, really, really cool, which I've actually been looking forward to watching Toradora, and then I didn't even know this was coming out until a week or two ago. But yeah, I'll watch them and tell you what I think. We also have um, Initial D, Fourth Stage, um, Part 2, Gintama Collection 2. Um, and the stuff you saw me order, I bought a copy of uh, the Shakugan no Shana uh, uh, A Complete Collection. This basically has, uh, the reason I bought this even though I already have the series is because this has an OVA on it, or it should. And I also bought uh, an anime called Devilman. I'll have to look carefully at this to see, to make sure it's everything that I wanted it to be. Good news, uh, the Dogro-chan uh, Smashing Special Edition finally shipped. And I have a little more to say about that later. And I also bought a really uh, unexpected title. What's with the lighting? Uh, Zetai Muteki Raijin O DVD 1, which I was looking at DVDs that were released this year. And other than the Pokemon Element stuff, which I'm not sure if I'm going to buy, because I think those contain normal Pokemon episodes. Well, this would have been the only thing released this year that DVD Aficionado didn't, said I didn't already have. So I bought this, and I'll actually talk a little bit about that, too. Before I continue on, I was taking a closer look at this, kind of interesting the way it's set up. See, I was looking at these and I noticed that it has seven discs in it, which gave the impression that it actually hadn't pressed things, and then you have this white disc here, whereas all the others are black. That's when I realized that if you have the original release, you may notice that uh, it actually has the same DVDs. Look, there's DVD 1 from the single and from the box set. And I went through and it was actually the same for the 6, which basically means that the OVA that's in this box set it would be this white one back here and I threw it in there. It looks like it has one episode on it. Have it look too closely. That's a very interesting thing. So yep, definitely has an episode I don't have, so this was a good buy. 